Now, so far we've been measuring angles with just degrees, but it is now time for us to start measuring angles with a different measure altogether. We call this measure radians. So let us dive right into this topic and explore this introduction to radians. When we think of a full circle, we know right off the bat that it is made up of 360 degrees. Now if you think about it, this 360 degrees representing the angle of a full circle isn't the most intuitive thing on Earth. To a large extent, we memorized it so deeply that we're fine with just using it. But there is, perhaps, a better way to measure things, like the circumference of a circle or an angle of any sort, and it is through the use of radians, which sounds a lot like radius, and this is not a coincidence because they're actually quite closely related. Now, let's take a look at a circle to help us define what a radian is. One radian is defined as the amount of angle that would make its arc equal to the length of the radius. Now the arc can just be described as any smooth curve joining two points. So again, here's the radius, and one radian is just however much angle is needed to make its arc equal in length to the radius. Good. So now we must ask ourselves, how many radians would make up a circle? A similar question in degrees would give the answer of 360 degrees. But hang in there a second because radians will make a lot more sense quite soon. Let me start by asking you a question. What is the circumference of a circle? Well, it would be 2 pi r, wouldn't it? Great, and what does that r stand for again? It stands for the radius of the circle. All right, now how many of these radians would we need to wrap mm -hmm. around an entire circle? Well, that would depend entirely on how long a single radian is in terms of its arc length. And since the radian itself is defined as the angle that makes up an arc length exactly the same as the radius, all we would have to do is divide 2 pi r by r to get the number of radians that make up the full circle. Therefore, the answer is just 2 pi. Easy. So 2 pi radians, which is roughly 6.28 if you actually simplify 2 pi, make up the angles to a full circle. So what we are saying essentially is this then. Since 2 pi radians is one full rotation, and since one full rotation is 360 degrees, then 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. Now following the same logic, if we divide both sides by 2, we'd get pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. Furthermore, if we divide both sides by pi, we'd find out that the value of one radian is equal to 180 over pi degrees. Pretty cool, right? So there will be quite a lot of lessons on trigonometry and the unit circle that consists of radians being used, so make sure to get a firm grasp of this concept. And just remember that radians are just another way to measure an angle, and that it is defined in a way where 2 pi radians is in fact a full circle. So that's the end of this lesson, and we will see you guys in the next one.